Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you something cool uh, explaining uh, the from script and to script uh, options here. Uh, so basically the from script and to script allows us to exchange data between the patch editor and the scripting file. I already created a script.js, gonna access it in a moment. I've already set up a patch we're going to explain to you in a moment and have some objects available for us here so first let's go quickly uh, to see what I added into the scene the first thing is a face tracker I want the face to be tracked underneath a canvas and then uh, set to wall space which moves with the head underneath it a text to the text element which allows me to just add a text and it will appear here all right now, uh, in the patch editor, you can see that I already dragged the face tracker uh, to the patch editor, which brought me uh, this. I'm going to just do it now. I'm going to drag and drop the face tracker. I have a face node available, which I connected to the blink, because what I want to do is uh, when the user blinks, to change the text. So I did right click, tap blink, I added the blink patch, which is this one, and then I need to connect the face. So uh, Sparkia knows uh, which, which face uh, we should monitor for blinking. The first face in the scene. And then uh, here, oh, let's, uh, for now I want to show you here. Yeah, so the first thing I want to do is uh, when user blinks when she blinks i want to do to run some code and to do this i want to uh, uh, let the script know that she blinks so i did it i created a two script pulse blink which this one will store the value of the pulse okay. I'm just going to remove it for a second so you see it's not available now so what i did click this plus button to script choose pulse i can do other uh, data types like boolean true or false numerical values tags vectors I use pulse why pulse because this is the one that outputs from the blink it's a pulse it's uh, an event that happens when the user blinks uh, and I call it um, sorry, uh, pulse. Oh, my mistake already here. Uh, I call it pulse blink. Now I want to bring it into the patch editor. So I click this little but, uh, arrow button. And now it's available. And I connected it into the blink. Now I have a variable that stored the value of the pulse. Now, if you look, when she blinks, take a closer look at what happens here. You can see that an event takes place and it updates the value. See? Now, this is only for a split of a second. And because of this, uh, it's not just uh, I can get it, uh, this value by just get value. I'm going to show it to you here. This is the script. Uh, we're going to focus on the line that allows us to capture the pulse value, which is this line. I access the patches and I say get pulse value and I put the, um, the name of the variable here, pulse blink. Pulse blink. We need to use the same one, same name. Okay. Now, I really, the reason I use subscribed is because as you can see, uh, this uh, change of value is only happens uh, in a certain time when the user blinks. So subscribe actually listen to changes in the volume. So when this one change, uh, when uh, the volume changes, this will fire a function, which I pass to the subscribe function. And this is the function. So everything inside these curly brackets 
will run every time an event of blinking takes place. So in this case, just this line, all right? So uh, let's uh, move to the from script. So what is from script? From script is uh, when I want to uh, bring values from the script to the patch editor. This is the opposite of to script when I need to export values from the patch editor to the script. All right. So I actually created a, var a variable called from script value, which holds a text. And I see also created a to script value, which also store a text. And this is a value that I'm going to use to export value to the script. So it will be a, val a, var a value available from the patch editor will be available in the script. So when you add uh, uh, variables, uh, a from script variables, you don't have this arrow here, like you have the two script, you see? For this, what you need to do is create, uh, tap the create button in the producer patch, will which create this purple block. This will hold all the variables that uh, hold values from the script. We have now, but if I go ahead tick this plus button, I'm going to add something else. You see it's added. If I delete it, it's going to be removed. So you can add many of them. So now why this is output? Because we have an output node, because this outputs the value from the script and I can use it for different things. So what I did here is I connected the value from the script to the text of the text number. If you go here to text number, you can see I'm going to just delete it for a second. This is the default. I just put number one. I can put anything I want. You can see it changes. Just put, just put one. Now, if I want this volume to be changed in the patch editor, I have this arrow. I tap it, and then, as you can see, I have this patch available for this volume. Now what I did is connected a from script variable to the text and what this means that the volume from the script will be seen uh, will be will uh, will update the text value for the text number to the text element here and as you can see it's already updated it say text from patch editor so where this text from patch editor text came from. Well, you're right. Look at this. Patches set string value. I'm accessing the patches and I'm going to, I want, I say, I want to set a string value for what? For the from script value and which value? The one that here that I get from to script value. Maybe this will be a bit confusing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove it for a second. And I'm just going to write here, uh, hello, one, two, three. Oh no, I am from script. Just this one, all right? Let's go back to our project. And now we wait for the blink. Remember the pulse blink. I am from script. Now we don't have to do this for blink. I just want to show you how we can uh, uh, share the pulse blink in the script. If I put it here, paste it here, it's going to run uh, by default when the project runs. So it'll be immediately visible. Take a look. I am from script. So if I'm going to change this to something else, I am from script 2. Save the project. I am from script 2. So this is now from the script, right? It's not available anywhere here. This value, this text, it's from the script. So the patches, patch got 
a value from this script. Now we're going to do something nice. As you see here, uh, this is uh, to script value. So this value will be available for the script. So I'm going to write here, I am from script. All right, see? So this value here is not connected to anything. It stands on its own here, but it's bridged with the script using the to script value that we assign here. So how do I get this one to script value? Using this one. What I'm gonna do, let's put it here. I'm gonna create a temporary variable that will store the value of this patch. So I use patches. I'm accessing the patches and say, I wanna get the string value of to script value. So I for in the script, I'm accessing I have value stored in a variable in the patch editor which was exported using the to script option because it's to script it's available for us in the script so I store this value here temp so this one now equals this just gonna copy it so so this variable stores I'm from script now what we're going to do is something cool I'm go we're gonna take this value and and put it here so what will happen take a look at these two lines we're gonna have a variable a value that is exported from the, uh, uh, from the script out to the script and we're gonna send it back to the patch editor let's see I'm from script. Oh. My mistake. I am from patch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, my bad. So we have a value here. I what happens here? You see, I am from patch. So this value is actually this value here. So look what happened. This is not connected to anything, and I can change this one to anything and it changes what happened to the head. So this value, this value this value here is going out to the script because it's to script this going to the script and what the script does going to the script read it and this one sends it back uh, to the patch set so this update the from script that's why we get this I'm from page. This one, this one. We send it to the script, and the script uh, update uh, the from script. So this one is eventually appears here. These are not connected, as you can see. They are connected just with this functionality, not in the patch editor. So actually, this one update this one. You want to see it clearly? I'm gonna put ever. You can actually see it here. You see. I am from script. Look what happens. Look at these two. I'm gonna enlarge it. Can you enlarge it? You see? No, I don't think so. You see, I am from script. Look what happened. I write something here. I write a number. You see? Take a look here what happens. Five. Update. You see? Two. So this update this one. So we are playing. We are playing with from script and to script just using uh, the bridging ability with these two options from patch can you see what happens again uh, this is a variable that is a, we are sent using to script to the script the script reads this value send it back to the patch using the from script which is this one here and we set the value of the text number here to that value. This is how we can play with data. I'm just exchanging uh, data uh, uh, forward and backward between the patch editor and the, and the script file. 
So this is a simple example. I'm gonna stop here. I might do different examples uh, later on. Something that can, you can use actually to do something useful in filters, but this is the core concept. I'm gonna keep it short. Uh, so just watch this video, try to understand how we exchange those uh, uh, values between the script and the patch editor, uh, because we're gonna use it a lot in future videos where you can see how can I combine those two as some things that are easy to do in the patch editor so i prefer this in the patch editor and then uh, use code for other things and it kind of use both of them because my goal is to do things uh, efficiently fast and also want things to be simple uh, so i can manage the code if i want to make changes later on so that's it uh, don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye everyone